Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 22 and a half degree offset bend. And this would be very useful in case you had perhaps a switch box here and a wall sconce here, and you need to get over to the other side of the stud bay, and you need it to fit right in between these two studs. What you need to know for a 22 and a half degree offset is that the multiplier is 2.6. So that's right here on the back of your uh, Klein tape measure. Uh, you look at 22 and a half and it'll tell you it's 2.6. And then you have to measure the distance from here to the stud. So you measure like this and this is 13 and three quarters. So you have 13 and three quarters. That's our measurement from here to here times 2.6, which is the multiplier. And that comes out to 35 and three quarters inches. So that's the distance between these two bands. And these are 22 and a half degree bands, of course. So here's your first band, and here's your second band. The distance between these is 35 and 3 quarters inches. Also, for a 22 and a half degree offset, the shrink is 1 eighth per inch, but we're not going to use that. I'm just going to put it up here and I'm going to cut it off right here. I used my Milwaukee bandsaw and just cut it off, ream it out, and hang it with the one hole straps. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take down this 22 and a half degree offset and I'll make another one. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I have a piece of conduit here and I measured in two inches. And this is a, an arbitrary amount. It could be 22 inches or 42 inches. It's just the first uh, bend of your 22 and a half degree bend and I needed to make it nice and short because I have a short space on my wall so I measured in two inches and then from here I measured over 35 and three quarters right here so that's the distance between these two bands that's what we just calculated so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my bender right here and I'm going to put the mark right on the arrow okay we got it right on the arrow there and I'm going to bend to 22 and a half degrees which is right here okay now you put your boot on the handle uh, for safety and we're going to go to right here 22 degrees right down like that and then you push it in and with the you, I just spun it 180 degrees so this is sticking straight up like that and you push it right down to the second line right there I check again make sure I'm in the same plane with the first bend and you see I've got the line right on the arrow okay so you put your boot on the handle of the bender for safety uh, check and make sure you're in the same plane with the first bend and we're going to 22 and a half degrees right there like that so there you have an offset bend right there okay let's see how we did with our 22 and a half degree offset put it right here that oh, looks pretty darn good okay so I'll make a pencil mark I got a pencil mark right here where I'm going to cut it and I'll grab my uh, Milwaukee bandsaw right here okay so right there back up you take you take these and you throw them away get them out of your way you don't want to step on those and slide somewhere for safety so then you you grab your reamer and ream this out and you take your conduit put it where it goes there and where it goes here okay Okay, there's your 22 and a half degree offset. Remember the multiplier is 2.6 and our measurement goes from here, this surface, to here. 
and that came out to 13 and 3 quarters. So there's 35 and 3 quarters inches between this mark and this mark. Now clean off your pencil marks and make it look professional. There. I'll put links in my video description for the ideal benders, both in aluminum like this one and in the ductile iron, uh, which the ductile iron is more durable, but it's heavier and it's a little harder for you guys to see the numbers. So I'd like to use the aluminum one and I'll put a link for this, this neat uh, Dewalt 12 volt max driver. It's an impact driver. It's amazingly fast and light. It's, it's cool. It's not, it's not as powerful as the 20 volt max, but sometimes it's all you need. It's so light. <laughs> it's cool. And I'll put a link for the new Milwaukee bandsaw. This is my new favorite bandsaw. It's pretty light and it's three and a quarter inches from here to here. So you get uh, quite a bit of room and uh, it's got a hook right here. You just hang it up on things and it's, it's great. And also I'll put a link for my reamer. It's a Klein reamer. It's real nice and you should always ream out your pipes for safety. And then this is a, a Klein lighted level. You just press this button and it lights up so you can see the, the bubbles better. And I'll put a link for the Klein tape measure with the conduit bending tables built right on it. As a thank you for watching this video, I've put an uh, email address in the video description and for the first three viewers that write in and give me your name and address, I'll send you Sparky Channel stickers. See, I got them all over my hard hats and I'll give you a dozen. Just write in and ask for them, give them your name and address and I'll give you a dozen Sparky Channel stickers to the first three that write in. It's not a random contest, it's just the first three. Okay, thanks a lot.